You know, I just finished watching the episode of Podcast and Chill, and this is what Tolas Mo said a few years ago by Lerato Moloy. So I want you to watch this part where Tolas Mo was really giving it out. And he was ranting, man, and I could tell the passion that was in his voice. Anyway, you can go and watch the full episode on Maji. But I want you then to listen to how Lerato, when she was being interviewed on Newsroom Africa, her demeanor and how she was, you know, portraying herself as somebody who was raped by Tolasmo. Let's just watch. This is the reason school. why kids I came school. to the show. Kids in high school. That kid's article, look at my Instagram, I posted about it and I spoke about this thing. And I told myself in my heart I'm going to go to MacG's show because I know I'm going to have the opportunity and the platform to speak my mind freely as a black man in South Africa without being censored. Censoring. That kid took his life. I understand what the parents of that child are going through because my wife had to catch me a couple of times hanging from my ceiling, from the garage. I took the horse's noose and I hanged it on my neck. I was attempting suicide multiple times. Then Ricky took his life, bro. Ricky took his life. You know what that did to Mome? Because of people on Twitter that go and talk about our lives. But Bonner, they are afraid to stand up and do something. Because Bonner, they, they at the comfort of their home, sitting down and just talking shit on Twitter about people's lives. When no one talks about theirs because their lives are not even relevant to be spoken of. That nigga took his life. You know what it did to my wife? That was Mom's friend, bro. That was Mom's little brother, bro. You understand? I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it anymore because I knew what it's going to do to her. I couldn't, I couldn't allow myself to replay another situation where she loses someone because of this thing. You, you, you understand me, my niggas? No, no, I got you, man. I got you. Has um, Toles Mo, who, who, and that's how people know him, has he reached out to you outside of the litigation process that's currently underway, which I understand in some part also led to you spending a night in jail? Um, no. He has not contacted me. It was only his wife who sent me a WhatsApp um, immediately after that and seemed to have blocked me before I could answer her many questions. So, yeah, no, that was the only contact I've had since then. Are you able to share with us the, the contents of that WhatsApp message? I, I, I don't know. I guess. It's... it's um, <clears throat> Basically, let me just um, say the because I'd have to open my WhatsApp to check it. Um, the the message was basically telling me that I need to be prepared and and um, for a court battle because <laughs> yeah, was I was basically being told to <clears throat> get ready for whatever they have in store for me. You know, the reason why I'm talking this with passion is because as a man raising daughters, I want to raise them in such a way that they are not going to be caught up in this feminist thing and become making it a weapon when things don't go their way. The past week uh, in Zimbabwe, we've seen a guy, DJ Levels, uh, was now being accused by the former lover that, you know, they, you know, raped her. But the issue here is that there are real people that are facing, that are being raped out there and that really need our help. But the energies that we are finding in this feminist movement that are trying to intoxicate and try to cancel men and I was imagining the loss that to us mom made in these past two years. I mean, it's like a stigma for his life. But anyway, guys, what do you make of the way how people are taking this feminist thing and cancelling men? Like what happened to DJ Fresh? What happened to Sjava? What happened to Katero, my boy, uh, from Outsurance? Cancelled. And 
It's tough, man. It's tough being a man out there. And it's tough to build a career only to be destroyed by one hater, one woman that probably you don't have anything to do with her. She decides, I'm going to ruin this man's career. And that's it. Very painful.